All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of uh, finding an angle, the measure of an angle, if we know a little more information. So in this case, suppose we know that the cosine of theta is equal to square root of 3 over 2. We want to find the angle, um, what the measure is for our angle here, theta. So remember, cosine of an angle is defined to be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And again, for our angle theta, this would be the adjacent. So I'm simply going to label the adjacent side as square root of 3. I'm going to label the hypotenuse here with length 2. And now we would have to figure out you know, this missing side. You may know this uh, you know, if you, uh, from geometry, but we can always figure it out just using Pythagorean theorem. So we'll take the square root of 3 squared plus this missing side, we'll call it b squared, that equals 2 squared. Well, uh, the square root of 3 squared is just going to be 3 plus b squared. Uh, 2 squared is going to give us 4. And now if we subtract 3 from both sides, we'll just get that b squared equals 1. And when we take the square root, we'll get positive negative 1. But again, it's got to be the positive one uh, because we're talking about a length here. So this simply has a length of one. So again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out uh, our, our, our angle theta. So now uh, we have to be a little bit clever here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of uh, take this triangle and I'm going to reflect it. Okay, so we've got our triangle here. This has length 2. Um, this has length 2. This has length 1. This has length uh, square root of 3, but I don't really care about that. Uh, I'm going to imagine sort of uh, just reflecting this triangle over to the other side. Okay, so just imagine it sort of getting reflected over. Um, it's going to go down here. So when we reflect it over, it's going to come down here. Okay, so this was length 2. Okay, so this is not great artistry here. But if it's the same triangle, this had length 2, this had length 1. That means the hypotenuse here would have length 2. And this other side, again, would have length 1. But if you think about it now, what we really have is we've got um, an equilateral triangle. Because this is length 2, this is length 2, this entire length adds up to 2. So that means, uh, since all the side lengths are the same, that means all the angles inside are the same. And since all the angles have to add up to 180 degrees, we know that each one of those angles has to be 60 degrees individually. So, okay, so that means, again, this angle is 60 degrees. But notice our little angle theta here. That was kind of sitting, you know, kind of sitting in this... Uh, this upper region, right? This whole angle, if we trace it out, that's what's going to be 60 degrees. So in this case, theta is only going to be half of that. So we would have to take our 60 degrees and divide it by 2. And that would simply give us that theta has uh, the measure of uh, 30 degrees. Or we could put that in radians and say that's pi over 6 radians.